What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this next question, we have to take this expression here and we have to simplify. So we got three X squared minus 10 X minus eight divided by X minus seven, divided by X minus four over X squared minus 49 times one over four minus X. So first thing you wanna do with something like this, as we've done in previous videos, is you want to factor everything. So starting with the numerator, 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. How can we factor that? Well, notice we can't take anything out initially. So we would factor this with decomposition. So 3 times negative 8 would give us negative 24. And then notice the b value is negative 10. So what two numbers multiply to negative 24 add up to negative 10? It would be negative 12 and positive 2. Negative 12 and positive 2. So we can decompose this to minus 12x plus 2x minus 8. From these two, we could take out a 3x. From these two, we could take out a 2. And as usual, these two brackets should be the same, so we could take out that bracket, and we'd be left with a 3x plus 2. All right, so that numerator factors into that. So continuing this here, we'd have x minus 4 times 3x plus 2. Now the x minus 7, that doesn't factor, so let's uh, just keep it as, uh, as it is. And then we'll have divided by x minus 4 doesn't factor. The x squared minus 49, notice how that's a difference of squares. And then we're multiplying by 1 over 4 minus x. Now we can leave the four minus X. Personally, I don't like it in this format. So I'll take out a negative to have it as X minus four instead. And then this negative, maybe we could bring up top. So we'll put a negative one up here like that. All right, you can leave it in this format if you want. Personally, I'm not gonna do that. So I'll just take out a negative, have it as x minus four, and then notice these are gonna cancel out eventually too, and then we'll have a negative here, and I just brought it up. So this and this, they're the exact same thing. And so from here, you just simplify. Now, if they ask for restrictions, you can get the restrictions from here. So notice here, the denominator can't be zero, so x cannot equal seven. That's one of the restrictions. And then moving on to this denominator, notice that with this bracket, x cannot equal negative seven. Here, we already have x cannot equal seven. And then over here, x cannot equal positive four, like that. So those are the restrictions. Another thing I wanna mention is, because you're dividing by this entire expression, this entire expression can't be zero. And so we got the, uh, the restrictions from the denominators, which is obvious, but because we're dividing by this entire expression, we also get the restrictions from the numerators. Because if a numerator is zero, either here or here, it's gonna make this entire thing zero and you can't be dividing by zero. But we already have the restriction x cannot equal four from here. Right, so this factor is taken care of. But this, if this was like x can, uh, if this was like x minus 5, for example, then another restriction would be x cannot equal 5. Because an x value of 5 would make this 0, multiplying by this, so it would make this entire bracket 0, and you can't be dividing by 0. Right? Remember, when you're dividing by a rational expression, you get the restriction from the numerator and the denominator of the expression you're dividing by. Same thing over here, even though it's split up into multiple expressions, it's still in a big bracket. So you would still get the restrictions from the numerators. But in this case, it was already taken care of over here. All right, and then we have the restrictions. And so from here, it's just simplifying. So we wanna work with the bracket first, multiplying these two, notice the x minus fours would cancel out and so, Working in steps here, we'd have x minus four times three x plus two over x minus seven, and we're dividing by, what would we be left with here? Negative one over x plus seven 
times x minus 7. Since we're dividing, we flip this. So we'd have x minus 4, 3x plus 2 over x minus 7 times x plus 7, x minus 7. That would be divided by negative 1. And then notice that the x minus 7s cancel out. Right, and then nothing else cancels out. And so the final answer, let's put the negative in front. It would be x minus 4, 3x plus 2 times x plus 7. Right, that would be the final simplified expression for that initial expression.